Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to episode 12 I think we're at by now of my starting from scratch series and uh, yeah so we get straight started into this game he's got a couple Brazilian players I think he's probably going to end up going for a Brazilian team and uh, one of the comments which was put actually really well um, he didn't decide to be immature about it was Cal I'd like to see you play up against some better opponents because um, I'm kind of bored of seeing you trash um, really teams with low chemistry and things like that so that's what I tried to do in this game although you have to understand when you're around the three and a half star team marker you do come against a lot of people who are new to ultimate team and uh, you can often uh, struggle to come up uh, with people who fully understand how important chemistry is and to anyone who's not watching this guys chemistry is I almost say more important than th th who you have in your team because I have a um, bronze uh, would you call it a bronze English team and they have I, I'm pretty sure it's like 90 odd chemistry and they'll beat teams uh, who have gold players who are around the 60 70 um, chemistry mark so it really does matter and um, this this was probably one of the hardest games I played Um, he scores a couple goals and I, I'm finding the weather in this an absolute pain I always play much m much worse in the rain I don't know why it is I just the rain slows down the tempo and with this sort of team you need to be playing fast quick football through balls one twos all those sort of thing that's just how you need to play with this team and so unfortunately rain really does make my life a little bit difficult to, um, but there he does the RBA pass which is also known as a fancy flick pass there is a tutorial that I did on it if you're interested and you want to know how to um, but there he managed to peek one right into the bottom right corner of the, the keeper but I win uh, five to two although I have to admit that was a challenging game I come up here and then again I come up a guy with uh, 70 chemistry it was the closest I could find to mine really um, but yeah I come up against him and he doesn't really have a good uh, team like that, that that doesn't look like a three and a half star team but then I saw his keeper and he actually has a really good keeper so uh, that could be reason but uh, there there was a bit of defending left a bit of gap and you, you're gonna be punished if you leave a, a just the smallest of gaps for either Remy or Briand but um, yeah, so as you can see, these lofted through balls are just cutting up the defense. And if you leave a lot of gaps, guys, um, for the pace between Jimmy Briand and uh, Remy will actually come back to haunt you. But unfortunately, this guy did not like losing 2-0. Um, although this, this that was probably the hardest game I've played. As you can see, it's like the 86th minute. I'd only scored two. I didn't score until the second half. So that was really worrying. Anyways, guys, I needed to get the fitness of my players back up. I don't like leaving them uh, till they go ab about below 90. I don't know why. They seem to not do as many runs, things like that. So that I just had to apply a lot of fitness cards. Now, what I do is I usually buy bronze ones, even for my gold team, because I usually do it when they're about the 90 marks. So the bronze one just bumps it up to the, to the 99 or near enough. And um, that seems to do the job. Then I came up against this opponent who probably had the best team that I've come up against. He had a Bonglahor at the top and um, some uh, Stoke defenders. And it, it was it was definitely the hardest team I came up against. But for some reason, um, I don't know, maybe he was uh, new to the game and just opened a bunch of packs and got these players. But um, it was, I was really, this was, I was quite nervous to play this game actually because he did have a good team. But as you can see, these uh, through balls are just cutting up the defense. And I have to admit, Remy does do a great job on the chip there. And you'll see a couple more uh, further in on this episode um, but yeah guys so I've got two questions for you one do you feel as though chemistry uh, like changes the way how well your team plays because I know for a fact that when I play chemistry is a big a big thing for me and uh, also with the weather I just the weather in this game really puts me off I get annoyed when we I end up playing in the rain as you can see here I thought this was a really nice chip from Remy it's that sort of angle got the weight right on it and it manages to sink into the back of the net um, but yeah the weather like it, snow is horrible mainly because you can't see the players and this guy I, I have a feeling it was kind of like a, he didn't like losing too much and he just got really lazy started sliding my players everywhere and I, I go for the stutter, pen, stutter penalty and how, how ironic I stutter when I say that and um, yeah so I managed to do that with Gonzalez but I get a nice uh, chip I was actually going for the Rabona by uh, Rabona uh, cross but I do get it um, here with um, what's his name Gurkov there you go and uh, he just heads it in pretty nicely but that'll do it for this uh, episode tell me what you think on weather because it drives me crazy does the weather in this game uh, it just really puts me off the snow you can, I can barely see the ball it's just really frustrating but 
Last but not least, I do end up buying a left back called Sissoko. He plays for Olympic Lyon and I managed to get him for 750 coins and that's, I was really happy with that considering he is uh, got 86 pace and that, that's, that's a lot of pace for a left back who goes for 750 coins but this team is so cheap and it's just so great. So be sure to tell me what you thought on chemistry is and morale I guess uh, in this game as well as what you guys think of the weather and how it impacts your play. Thanks a lot guys for watching and uh, see you guys later. Bye bye.